When it comes to my collection, one of the things I am most proud of and excited about is my Spice Orange Japanese GameCube. It just looks amazing. I mean, it's spicy, it's orangey. What else do you need? Not only do I have a Spice Orange GameCube, but I have the matching Spice Orange Game Boy player for it as well. Now the folks at Eon Gaming have their GCHD HDMI adapter, which plugs right into the back and allows me to go from the back of my GameCube into an HDMI port on the back of my TV, and it looks great. The problem, I have a Spice Orange GameCube and a black Eon Gaming GCHD. Even with the GCHD Mark II, I had an Indigo one for my Indigo GameCube, but it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb on my Spice Orange GameCube. But never fear, as Eon Gaming has a limited edition Eon Gaming GCHD specifically for the Spice Orange GameCube. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this episode today. Hello and welcome to Rocksaw Productions. My name is Gary, your host here on the channel. If this is your first time here, I want to take a second, first of all, say thanks for stopping by and welcome you to the channel. If you like what you see here, check out some of the other videos that we have on the channel. We have hundreds of videos for you to check out. And if you really like what you see, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. That way each and every time we do come out with new content, you're kept the most up to date. So Eon Gaming, the GCHD, Mark II is here in Spice Orange. And this is one of those things where, from a functionality standpoint, it doesn't work any differently than the silver, the black, or the indigo GCHD. But it's finally here in Spice Orange to match my Spice Orange Japanese GameCube that I have. And this is one of those that I think as time has gone on, more and more people have purchased outside of Japan. I've had mine, like I say now, for over a year and I absolutely love it. I loved it so much and enjoyed playing GameCube games. I actually bought a second Indigo uh, GameCube so that way I could unmodify it, originally modified this system to play both US and Japanese GameCube games. I've unmodified it. It's now, once again, Japanese only because I have the original Indigo one down here. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're not gonna do a real in-depth test or anything. We have videos covering the GCHD and the GCHD Mark II here on the channel. In fact, we have an entire dedicated Eon Gaming playlist. If you wanna check it out, it's right up there. We even have live streams featured in there where we have played using the GCHD and GCHD Mark II. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, throw it on the bench, plug it in, and just see exactly First of all, how well does the color match this and my Spice Orange Jap Japanese GameCube? That's important. We're also gonna just see how the fit and finish and everything else is. So let's hit the bench. So here checking out my Spice Orange Japanese GameCube, you can see, yeah, I really do need to retro it. The front of it is pretty yellowed here. Bringing in the boxes for the Eon Gaming GCHD Mark I, Mark II, and the Spice Orange one, you can see that they kept the aesthetic exactly the same, which is a good thing. I love the way the aesthetics on these boxes look. They've done a great job. Uh, the thing too on here is, if you look at the back here, it even shows the two ports that that you need on the back of the system. Setting these aside for now and kind of getting down to the nitty gritty of what we have going on here. Now I do have my black Mark I plugged in and you can see the two ports that you need on the back of the system. The digital AV output and the analog AV output. Now someone correct me in the comments but I don't know that you can get a Spice Orange Japanese GameCube that does not have both of these ports. So compatibility if you're looking for something for your Spice Orange Japanese GameCube, you should be good to go. So we'll grab our utility knife here and slice it open. Now one thing too, and, and I gotta bring in one of the other boxes because these gold stickers look a lot brighter, but nope, it is the same sticker. It just, the way that it, it reflects and works with the orange just looks just brilliantly sharp. Speaking of sharp, make sure you don't near cut yourself with your knife while you're opening this up. So inside the box, exactly the same as what we're used to seeing here. We have this small instruction manual that kind of points out the different ports on the back that you need. So again, this is pointing out the fact that you need to have that digital output as well, uh, that it will work with Wii component and SCART cables too, which is one of the other really cool benefits of the Eon Gaming GCHD Mark II. Let's pop this bad boy out of the box and actually go ahead and take a closer look at it. You have your white labeling and everything here. Taking a closer look side by side with the original, it looks 
you know, practically the same size, and that's a good thing. And you do have that secondary output on here for both the SCART or the Wii component cables or the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You also have that button so that you can pair it with your IR remote control. Now, one thing about both of these adapters is the fact that the HDMI port comes out on the side of the unit versus on the back, and I like that a lot. It changes the load so you're not placing the load lengthwise against the connectors. It's, it's more a side strain, and the way that these are all set up, it does allow you to go ahead and alleviate the strain and the stress downward like you see here, uh, where it would be more of a twisting action. The way these connectors are laid out and everything, there's so much surface area here to alleviate any stress or load on the connectors, both on the Eon Gaming GCHD and on your system itself. It is a tight fit, just like the originals. You kind of have to uh, squeeze to get it in there. You'll hear it snap when it is in place. And I do have to say, even for my kind of yellowed age looking Japanese GameCube, this looks really good together. They've done a really good job of matching the color of the plastic of the casing with what my Japanese GameCube has on it. Absolutely loving the way that this looks. Cannot wait to hook this back up and do some playing on it. It just, it's gorgeous, and I am so happy that the folks over at Eon Gaming have come out with a spice orange version of the Eon Gaming GCHD Mark II. I have to thank Ryan over at CastlemaniaGames.com. He's the one that actually sent this into the channel for us to cover and feature. Ryan, thank you so much. And as a thank you to all of you for watching us here on Rock Solid Productions, Ryan has got some cool stuff going on. As always, don't forget, if you need anything retro-related, whether you need replacement controllers, whether you need an Eon Gaming GCHD Mark II, any kind of retro stuff that you need, he has got so much cool stuff on the website. Head on over to CastlemaniaGames.com. What's really nice too on orders $20 and up, you do get free standard shipping and handling in the lower 48 states. And on most items on the website, if you use promo code ROX10, you actually get to save 10% on your order. So thanks to Ryan, that's his way to give back to the entire retro gaming community and help support the channel. We don't get anything out of that. It's one of those things that Ryan does just to help the gaming community. And I really appreciate it. I hope you do too. Now, if you do have any comments or questions on the Eon Gaming GCHD, remember this is a limited edition, the Spice Orange one. Make sure that you leave your comments down below in the comments section. You can also go ahead and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios, Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. And we always have the conversation going over on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. I do got to thank the people that you see on screen. These are our Patreon supporters that help donate to this channel each and every month. Without them, we would not be able to do a lot of the cool stuff that we have going on here with the channel. Thank you all. If you want to join us on over there, it's at patreon.com slash rock solid. And the cool thing about it is you get early access to all of our video content, exclusive behind the scenes, a whole lot more. Come join us, help support the channel. It's something that is greatly appreciated. If you also want to help support the channel and rock some Rock Solid Productions merchandise, you can do so by heading on over to our Teespring store on screen right here, right now. And like I mentioned at the beginning, if you like what you see here, if you want to see more, if you want to be kept the most informed and up to date, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. That way each and every time we do upload new content, you are kept the most up to date. Again, thanks to Ryan for sending us the Spice Orange Eon Gaming GCHD Mark II. Look how pretty that is. It's, I need a moment. I mean, I now have the Spice Orange Game Boy player. I have the Spice Orange controller. I do have a knockoff Wave Bird that's Spice Orange too. And now the Spice Orange Eon Gaming GCHD. It's, to quote Scott Hall, it's just, too sweet thanks for watching i am gary this has been rock Saw productions and the spice orange eon gaming gchd thanks for watching i'll see you soon